Yes, I do think that it's getting more extreme um, for many reasons, but a few of which include a reaction to President Trump and a reaction to Kavanaugh being appointed to the Supreme Court, um, both because of the controversy around um, him getting appointed as well as pro-choice people's fear that this means like the end of Roe versus Wade, um, that that's like that all we need is, you know, five even semi-conservative Supreme Court justices to overturn Roe, which I don't believe is true. I agree with Clark Forsyth that you need at least six to overturn Roe, maybe more. And so I'm not experiencing that same thing. But certainly if you think, even if you're wrong, but if you think that Roe v. Wade is like, you know, hanging by a thread, then if you're pro-choice, you're naturally going to be feeling a lot more fear and a lot more anger toward um, this movement that you feel like is about to try to take this important right away from you. So that, like, it makes sense that we would be feeling, like, it, it just feels like things are getting more extreme. You've also got just growing hostility from leftists, um, including professors directed at conservatives in general. There's a recent poll I saw. I'll see if I can find the link and put it in the, in the description. Uh, but there's a, a poll that 73% um, of Republican students have withheld political views in class for fear of their grades suffering. Like, there's a problem going on on college campuses, especially, and um, I'm not the only one that thinks that. And so that's an issue. And then you've got this push to coddle young people, um, like trying to protect them from, you know, having their feelings hurt or, or being offended by things. And I think that's a problem because if you teach young people that they have a right to not be offended, like, for example, by speech that they disagree with, well, then that's going to make it harder when a pro-life group like me wants to, you know, come on campus and say things that offend pro-choice people. Not inherently offensive things, but just like, yeah, we just want, you know, equal rights for um, all people and equal right to life for all people, including the unborn. Well, if, they, if they're offended by that, then, and they think that they have a right to not be offended, then they're going to be very, very angry. As opposed to like, I feel like even 10 years ago when people just understood, yeah, you're going to sometimes hear views that you disagree with on college campuses, whatever. Like, things are not like that right now. I think they might get better. I feel like, you know, especially like, you know, people like Jonathan Haidt um, and Sam Harris are doing a great job of, of talking about like, the, the, the problems with that. So I feel like at some point things are going to bounce back, but I think it's going to take a while. I frankly think some of this, like, is a parenting thing. Again, that's a Jonathan Haidt thing. I think a lot of my views on, on this really just comes from Jonathan Haidt, who's done amazing work and research on this. It seems to easily be the expert on this topic. Um, and so read him if you want to know more about what I'm talking about.